working this is engineer is hat testing and commissioning engineer and the continuation of previous lectures on avc panels in the automatic voltage control or automatic voltage regulator uh, panels uh, we finished uh, the portion of uh, our ziv relays now today we will brief you some uh, any we will introduce you with the enunciator circuits and how the enunciator works so first uh, i will go to the <coughs> manual show this please come from this yeah so now you can see the uh, this manual here everything is labeled but uh, you know going with every point uh, it's very difficult just i will brief you what we have to do here uh, for our settings and what are our requirements what is the procedure to be followed so now first uh, see here show it automatic acknowledge or silence time selection now here we have the functions labeled according to the switches so now we will later first we will explain uh, this and then we will show you practically now when the function is automatic acknowledge for this we need switch 1 this is switches switch 1 switch 2 switch 3 switch 4 now when you need automatic acknowledge for this you have to make switch 1 on you can see it here switch 1 should be on if once need automatic acknowledge then the second function automatic mute when uh, one needs automatic mute he should switch off the switch 1 switch 1 should be switched off for automatic mute then similarly disable automatic timer for this you need to switch off uh, switch 2 and switch 3 enable one enable one minute time delay for that you need to switch on switch 2 and off switch number 3 similarly enable four minute time delay and enable eight minute time delay this is labeled accordingly or enable four minute time delay then for this you need to switch off switch 2 switch on switch 3 then for 8 minute time delay you need to switch on switch 2 and switch on switch number 3 <coughs> now see it here this is the switch labeling in diagrams this is the no switch number 1 2 3 and 4 and this is showing this is now in on position okay this side showing on this side showing off Nay, I means th four, three, and four are switched off. Now, if you need to switch on this, you have to. Any, you have to move it to this side. Three, to make it on, move it to this side. Now, show it uh, what we will do here. For our AVC panels, we will make the function automatic mute. Okay, for that we have to switch off switch one and enable one minute time delay. We need one minute time delay. For that we will make on switch two and switch three should be off. So now we will show you this. Now you can see. Four switches. And you remove these two nuts. And this is the procedure which should be followed. Show 
this point please these are the switches one minute this this is switch 1 switch 2 3 and 4 okay for automatic mute we need to switch off switch 1 switch it off one is it off one off already yeah this is off already and enable one minute time delay for that we need to switch on switch 2 and switch off uh, switch number 3 see switch 2 is on switch 3 is off Close. Yeah, so the next portion is function, no key and descriptions. And in this section is explaining the functions and the status of LEDs and which functions having what feature. So then practically I will show you later but first I will explain this when you have uh, enable function f0 what's its uh, feature monitor current input con uh, contact state if f1 is enable then what is its feature set signal contact non alarm state similarly f2 f3 having its separate features and if we need the features we will make it on if we don't need, we will make it off. Show the status LED. And the LED status will show you here. See? Status of LED. And disable, enable. Okay? And then uh, normally energized and normally de-energized. Now the function which we need for this our IVC panel, we need these functions. F2, F18 and F19. So we will make only changes in these three. And we will consider only these three functions, F2, F18, F19. First, I will explain it here, that what we need here, when F2, when we select function F2, okay, later I will show you how to select a function, how to change the status, okay, but first I will explain, F2, when we enable function F2, what does it mean? Set individual channel repeat relay non alarm state. And it means that my uh, when uh, my relay should be in no, non alarm state. Okay? For this, I have to make it normally de energized. Means my LED status should be made on. Okay? Then after that, I will go to the practical and show it you how to enable F2 and how to make it on for all 16 channels or 16 windows. Then F18 and F19. Set repeat relays to follow logic. We don't need this. Okay? We will make we will make it disable. F18 we will make it disable for all 16 channels then set repeat relays to follow input we need this function F19 so we will first select the F19 and then for all uh, 16 channels we will make it enable so this is what the next step I am going to do Now you can see it here, this downside arrow. When you uh, make it down, this, you will make it down, you can edit the functions. Okay? Now, this status will show you. Editable, not editable, okay? On or off. Any edit, non edit, okay?
okay to enable or disable your function you need to uh, select from this point okay now my function is disabled so to make it on uh, please make it on okay now you can see here i am in function 0 how how should uh, how i should change my functions you can see here this is the function upside and downside okay so to change the function okay and uh, after uh, uh, status now this is off any f uh, f0 is off now to make it on or off you will uh, change by this these two okay and to change the uh, function you will you will use these up and down for change okay now okay now we are in f2 because as i explained we need to make a change in function f2 similarly this is window 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and similarly these are the other four up to 20 but in this avc panel we will use these 16 only so we will make changes in these 16 <coughs> now as i explained function f2 i should make it led status on for all to make it normally de-energized and to make my relay normally de-energized i will make the led status on for all the 16 windows so now you can see make it on window number 5 then window number 6 make it on and similarly follow to make on all the LEDs for function F2 which have the function my relay will be normally de-energized show them the button please which button you are pressing on the upside yeah so as I explained the channel status any this <coughs> this is for make uh, channel this is for uh, status. Status. status this is for functions so now you can see it here all the uh, 16 windows are LED status are on now we will move to F18 we will change the function from F2 to F18 because we need change in F18 according to our AVC panel. Okay, now you can see here we are in function 18. Function F18. Now you now as I explained we need this disable means that LED status should be off for our requirement here in this AVC panel we need to disable now these are already being disabled ok all the 16 windows are disabled you can see it here no one glows so this portion also finished then uh, move to F19 make change in, in F ok now 
show it here we are now in F19 we need to enable all these function as I explained I told earlier so now you can see it here all the LEDs are on means all LED are blinking so all are enabled so this function and this section is explaining how to make changes uh, in the function and how to select a specific function having a specific feature which I told you in the table which I show you that each function having a specific feature so when you we need a feature we will uh, on the LED status and when we don't need this we will make it off uh, now the next uh, step is the output uh, delay response time delay yes, yes, yes. okay so this having uh, show it here please this is you can see it here switch 1 switch 2 now we will go to the table what we need according to that we will make changes in our uh, correspondent switch so now you can see it here this uh, the labeling channel switch it is labeled here switch 2 so we will make change in this show it more clearly yeah okay you can see it here switch 2 because uh, from the table we need changes in switch 2 for channel 1 channel 2 okay now response time delay how much uh, time delay after which uh, a channel should response so it having different kind of uh, types of delays 5 milliseconds 10 milliseconds 25 50 milliseconds 200 milliseconds 2 seconds 5 seconds and 60 seconds now accordingly we will make the switch selection for channel 1 having in switch 2 having 4 switches 1 2 3 and 4 for channel 2 uh, having switch switch 2 in switch 2 having 5 6 7 and 8 now for our AVC panel we need 5 seconds response time delay for our AVC panel according to our requirements will be 5 seconds so we have to make changes in switch SW2 like this pattern so what will be the uh, switch status channel 1 switch number 1 it will be off ok then channel 1 switch 2 for 5 second delay it will be on channel 1 SW2 point number 3 it will be for 5 second delay it will be on and similarly we will on 4 and 8 having a separate logic which I will explain then similarly is the pattern for channel 2 fifth off sixth on seventh on eighth also on ok now it having a different logic show it clearly please if channel 1 SW2 point number 4 when you make it on it means 5 millisecond return to normal and it will take 5 milliseconds to return to normal position if you switched it off it will means return to normal same as activation delay so here we need this one 5 second return to normal 5 sorry 5 milliseconds to return to normal so we will 
switched it on similarly this logic is followed for point number 8 now we will move to the channel side now you can see it here as i told before we need only change in switch s w 2 so this is my card this s w 2 so this show it clearly s w 2 we will make change according to our setting this is s w 1 okay now this is the question i'm coming this take this okay of switch number 1 then maybe it's in yes i will of because of the right and up to 4 on now you can see it from the in this second uh, these settings are according to our table see switch 1 off my father switch 2 3 and 4 are on now come to table please fifth off fifth off 6 7 and 8 are on inject it please insert okay so per our settings uh, as i discussed it before uh, by showing you the cards for channel 1 and channel 2 and uh, change the settings for switch sw2 we the uh, the settings which we make is for 5 seconds okay so i'll just uh, now we will check that is it working according to the settings which we made or not so for that we will measure the time delay okay so for that we need a timer to measure the time between start and stop is it coming 5 seconds or something like this or not and then uh, as i explained for uh, point number 4 sw2 point number 4 on 5 milliseconds so we will check this also as well that is it, is is it taking the time of 5 milliseconds to return back to normal or how much it it, it takes so we will measure the approximate calculate uh, the observed values okay so for that i will just explain in the drawings first thing uh, which you have to care about the dc and in the drawings or in the panels that is very very important for example if your dc required is 24 volts and you applied 127 120 110 or 200 dc so it's obvious that it will and uh, it will affect your uh, it will affect your uh, the equipment okay so it uh, it need very uh, any care careless and if you are careless for this and you will uh, uh, your equipment will damaged and you have to replace it again so before making any test any test you have to go to the drawing and see in the drawing what is the requirement of dc or ac for my equipment so i will show it here in the drawing that what's required for an annunciator show it this please now you can see it here this is my annunciator okay my annunciator need energy of 24 volts 24 volts okay 
so if i directly energize it from 127 or without uh, rectification without uh, transforming it to 24 volts dc so it's obvious that my equipment will be damaged so this is the first thing you have to care carrying out any experiment you have to go to uh, its uh, specification before performing any test as a testing and commissioning engineer you have to take care of this now you can see it from the drawing channel 1 ok common supplied to all see this point is connected to all of the uh, channels and this is internal no need to provide any supply you can see it positive supplied from this point to all the enunciator circuits <coughs> now for timing test what we need to check the timer for channel 1 or window 1 simply we need to set start the timer for this because this is our input this is our output so we will uh, set our timer like this we will make the connection for from start to stop how much time it takes it will automatically stop so now I will show you here in the timer See? this is a connection which I make x72.1 okay so it will go through my mcb and then it will be connected to uh, x72.17 for channel 1 or for window 1 then i will keep this point same because it is common provided to all the circuits of enunciator or all the channels of enunciator i would say then 17 after finishing this check I will just move to from point 17 show it in the drawing to point number 18 you can see it clearly make it clear yeah you can see it now similarly 19 20 21 that's how the pattern which I will follow and similarly for the output side I will uh, make the jumper between go points number 17 point number 17 and point x82.2 we will make the jumper to measure the time now for this time measurement test we will make jumper between these two points to start our circuits to close the path and uh, test the time ok now, this is the arrangement from normally open to normally close start timer and stop from normally open to normally close so now according to our uh, arrangement make a uh, connection for x72.17 to x82 point number 2 then I will on the NCB and we will measure the time yeah. start it yeah. now I will on the NCB and measure the time ok now alarm also beeps this is for W1 so we observe the time it is 5 point now you can see the time 5.012 and the arrangement was for 5 seconds so here is the table You can see it here, 5 seconds, 
according to my setting and measured value is 5.01 now you can see it clearly we measure the time that is 5.01 seconds now for reset the time delay according to setting should be 5 milliseconds now we will measure this one for that we need from normally close to normally open you can see the change we will reset our timer and start you can see it now 0 0.026 approximately equal to 5 milliseconds so we perform uh, the test the timing test for W1 now for the test for W2 what we need we need from to convert from x72.17 and make the connection to x72.18 ok and for output we will connect to x82.3 so make this connection please x72.18 we will make as I explained and I told you earlier that we will make this point common because it is connected to all so make the connection for x72.18 okay, and ok ready connection is ready yeah. ok I will start the timer again for W2 now you can see here this is blinking and you can hear the alarm as well after acknowledgement it will stop I will measure the time that is 5.01 so you can see it here from the table 5.018 here I measured is 5.015 this procedure will be followed for all the 16 channels now for reset time delay measurement I will do the same from normally normally closed to normally open and we will measure the time reset and then on same delay approximately equal to 5 milliseconds you can see it from the table so if you understand this pattern we will follow the same pattern and just we will measure the time now we will move from point 18 to point 19 of our terminal block x72 ok and same pattern will be followed here we will move to x82.4 and we will measure the time and delay to come to its normal position and we have the final table for you you can see it labeling the channels channel 1 up to channel 16 because we in this our uh, AVC panel we are using 16 channels and this is the 5 seconds for whole arrangements and then we measure the time this column show you the measured values and then the reset timing 5 milliseconds and what we measured what we observed this table is showing you this and similarly alarm any is after 5 seconds you heard alarm for W1 W2 so it is ok ok so similarly ok for all 
यू कैन रिपीट इट 